Even though the car industry is always changing, some interesting possible developments point to an exciting and unexpected future. Take a look at what this financial expert has told us the auto business could be shook up by a bombshell of rumors, according to experts. Is it possible for Ford, GM2, the biggest automakers, and Tesla, a leader in electric cars, to join forces? There are a lot of options, and the effects are very big. This merger is more than just a handshake between two companies. It could start a new era of innovation in the car industry by combining the best parts of gas-powered and electric vehicles, Putting together Tesla's constant innovation with Ford and GM's strong roots could create a diversified powerhouse that leads the industry into new areas of progress and cooperation that haven't been explored yet. Come with us as we figure out the puzzle, figure out what the clues mean, and learn more about this interesting theory. What goes on behind the scenes is the question that everyone wants to know. Before we go any further though, don't forget to hit the like button and sign up for Tesla Stock News so you can see more posts like this one. Let's start the party. Tesla, which is a leader in electric tech, may now be teaming up with big companies like Ford or GM. Imagine these huge things joining their strengths to make something explosive. Do you not find that to be an exciting thought? A big step forward has been reached when GM signed a deal that passively aligns the way it makes electric batteries with the National Master Agreement. What an interesting turn of events. It would be Mark Fields, a well-known figure on CNBC and former CEO of Ford, who sheds light on this changing scene. It's important to know that Tesla is a market force and that its dynamic pricing helps define the business. Does anyone feel excited about the next three years? Morgan Stanley thinks that Tesla and big names in the industry like Ford or GM might work together. Just think about how different things would be after such a merger. As the auto industry changes with many companies releasing their own EV lines and countries around the world pushing for electric transportation, think about things from the point of view of an investor, a US car maker. Because their business strategies, company cultures, and positions in the market are different, wouldn't you worry about the future? Another interesting thing is that the United Auto Workers UE to UE deal that might cause structural problems in the auto industry, during the term of the deal, the UA deal, the UA wants an amazing 40% rise. Because of this desire, the price difference could grow by a lot, which would be good in many ways. Are the car companies able to pay for this? They might be able to find a middle ground and make things fair. Keep in mind that the Detroit Big Three do better than many of their foreign competitors because they make more money from full-size pickups and CVs just remember that, besides Tesla, making money with EVs is still hard to achieve. Costs need to be cut down so that traditional companies can make enough money as they make more electric vehicles. This upcoming change could force a reorganization of profit margins, showing how important it is for automakers to be cost-effective. Because of these factors, automakers will probably be more likely to negotiate hard against the UAW's requests. Think about what would happen if these car industry giants, each a leader in its own right, joined forces. Thanks to Tesla, leader in EV innovation, the way we think about and use electric cars has changed a lot. It's long range electric vehicles, EVs, state of the art battery technology, and advanced systems for self driving cars have raised the bar for the industry. On the other hand, Ford and General Motors are the big names in internal combustion engine cars. They have a global reach, decades of experience making cars, and strong brand loyalty. With Tesla's knowledge of making cutting edge electric cars and Ford and GM's knowledge of standard car engineering, this merger could make a huge company that is unlike any other. Coming together would be a mix of new and old ideas with ICE technology from Ford and GM and Tesla's knowledge of software, electric powertrains and user experience design. A union like this has many benefits because of the size of their output and the strength of their supply chains. With this mix, there may be a bigger range of cars for more people to choose from, such as powerful ICE trucks, SUVs, as well as high-end electric sedans and sports cars. The United Company might have a car that fits every customer's needs. As competition from other automakers and tech companies grows, joining Tesla's creativity and flexibility with Ford and GM's large RD budgets could speed up progress in self-driving cars, battery technology, and alternative fuels, which would strengthen their market position even more. Ford and GM have huge global dealership networks supply chains and manufacturing capabilities that could help Tesla grow its global position, especially in places where it isn't as strong now. Even though the company has a strong name and a lot of fans, they might work together to push for more environmentally friendly transportation. Ford and GM have both made big pledges to electric vehicles, but Tesla's goal is to speed up the world's move to clean energy. With the means and commitment to get more people to buy EVs, this merger could create a strong group. It's possible that the new company will be able to use supply chain management and production economies of scale to make making cars cheaper. Customers may gain from competitive prices, which makes EVs easier to get. This might put the companies in a better situation to follow strict rules about the environment and take advantage of government incentives for making and selling EVs. As the need to cut down on carbon pollution grows around the world, people could share their knowledge and skills in a useful way. 
Ford and GM's experience making a lot of cars and dealing with complicated foreign rules could help Tesla. On the other hand, Ford and GM could speed up their electric vehicle projects by using Tesla's technology. Even so, a merger of this size would come with some problems, such as coordinating strategic goals, getting around legal hurdles, and blending different company cultures. This merger will not only change the car business, but it may also start a new era of creativity, teamwork, and commitment to a more sustainable future for the auto industry. Because it is so innovative, Tesla is always pushing the limits of electric car technology. This forward-thinking company became famous for making the Model S the first long-range electric car. It has since continued to improve battery technology and charging facilities. Tesla is far ahead of its competitors thanks to its early bird edge and unwavering drive for innovation. Even though new companies are entering the market, Tesla has a big edge over them because it controls every part of its value chain very well, which is hard for other companies to do. Take a look at this statement from Adam Jonas, a famously knowledgeable Morgan Stanley analyst in the car business. In just a few years, by 2030, he thinks Tesla, which used to be an underdog, will have a much bigger part of the U.S. market than the two big companies in the industry, Ford and General Motors. Jonathan says that by 2030, Tesla will have 18% of the U.S. Car market. Considering how much of the market Tesla already has, this would be a huge jump. This kind of growth would mean that more people are buying Teslas. This is probably because battery technology is getting better, there are more models to choose from, and production capacity has grown. Based on this prediction, Tesla's approach of coming up with new ideas, selling directly to customers, and building a global brand could pay off big time over the next 10 years. Ford is expected to get 10% of the market, even though it has a great history. The large number of these cars makes me wonder how hard it will be for traditional automakers to fit the needs of the electric vehicle market with their past of making engines that burn fuel. General Motors, which is also a big name in cars, is expected to get 12% of the market. Even though GM has made a lot of investments and has plans in place to encourage EVs, Tesla's growth seems to be much faster. The expected dominance of Tesla is a sign of what the EV shift will be like. Fundamentals of the car industry are about to be put to the test by this huge change, which will force everyone to change their plans more quickly towards electrification. The fact that GM and Ford are expected to have different market shares shows how competitive and always changing the business is. This makes it even more important for these companies to come up with new ideas and improve their EV products in order to stay competitive. Because Tesla is the market leader, EV and self-driving system technologies may change quickly, leading to a race to come up with the best new ideas. Tesla is leading the way in changing the rules of the industry which could cause a major shift in the way power is distributed in the traditional car industry. Jonas thinks that the car business will change dramatically with Tesla controlling 18% of the market, which is a lot more than Ford's prediction of 10% and GM's prediction of 12%. This prediction not only confirms Tesla's growing dominance in the auto industry, but it also makes me think of interesting ways Ford and GM could work together. This mix of skills could lead to new ideas and make cars smarter and more fuel efficient. Ford and GM's global reach, along with Tesla's strong brand and presence in the EV market, could make a powerful company ready to compete with foreign automakers and quickly grow its market share. There are already signs that Tesla is going this way. They just recently came to an agreement that lets Ford use its large network of 12,000 fast charging stations. This effectively doubles Ford's charging network in North America and allays customer concerns about range anxiety. Well-known analysts like Dan Ives and Ross Gerber praised this relationship and pointed out how it would be good for both Ford and Tesla. Also think about what Elon Musk said about the idea of selling Tesla's full self-driving FSD software to other car companies. Musk says that sharing this knowledge is the right thing to do and could even save lives. He says that letting FSD work would be good for Tesla's finances and give the company a new way to make money once it hits level four or five autonomy. In 2022, Musk said that Tesla would back letting other manufacturers use FSD. With this forward-thinking approach, Tesla is set up to be both an innovator and a partner in the car industry. Musk says it could take five years or more more than any other company to figure out how to make self-driving cars work shows how dominant Tesla is. To continue our trip through the history of cars, let's look more closely at the points of view of.